Hello and welcome to the White Noise Men Movie Summary. In the year 1984, Jack Gladney teaches Hitler studies at the College on the Hill, a discipline he invented. Despite his expertise, he doesn't speak German and is covertly taking introductory classes to get ready for a lecture he must make at a conference. Babette, Jack's fourth wife, is his wife. Heinrich and Steffi, who were born of two prior marriages to Jack, Denise, who was born of a former marriage to Babette, and Wilder, whom they co-conceived, make up their mixed family of four. Denise observes Babette and discovers her hidden supply of Dilar, a strange medicine not listed in the standard records, which she had been prescribed. In a dream, Jack sees a shadowy figure attempting to kill him, alluding to a previous discussion with Babette about their shared fear of dying. Professor of American Culture and Jack's colleague Murray Siskind wants to create a comparable subfield called Elvis Studies and persuades Jack to assist him. Both momentarily face off against one another as rivalry between their respective courses intensifies. But when a catastrophic railway accident scatters a cloud of chemical pollution over the town, their way of life is upended. Massive evacuations are required due to this airborne toxic event, which causes a gridlock on the highway. Jack accidentally comes into contact with the cloud while filling up his car at a petrol station. The family is forced into quarantine at a summer camp along with many other people. Jack receives a little pistol the size of a palm from Murray so he can defend himself from the more violent survivalists in the camp. When families anxiously attempt to leave the camp one day, pandemonium follows. The Gladneys get close to escaping, but they fail, and their automobile ends up in the river. The family is permitted to leave the camp after nine days. But while Jack was just briefly exposed to the toxic waste, his fear of dying grows stronger. With the exception of Babette, who has since turned pale and estranged from Jack, everything has since returned to normal. Jack soon starts to have hallucinations of a shadowy guy following him around. In response to Denise's fears about Dilar, Jack confronts Babette. She acknowledges that she participated in a dubious scientific research for a medicine that treats anxiety about dying and that she was accepted in exchange for having sex with Mr. Gray. Jack is intrigued by the thought and asks Denise for the Dilar bottle, but she replies that she already tossed them away. When Jack is rummaging through the trash, he discovers a newspaper advertisement for Dilar, which inspires him to obtain his gun and exact revenge on Mr. Gray. When Jack finds him down at a motel, he learns that Mr. Gray was the person he had been seeing in his dreams. Jack shoots him while holding the gun in his hand to make it appear as though he committed suicide. When Babette unexpectedly arrives, she encounters a Mr. Gray who is still alive and manages to shoot them both. All three are taken by Jack to a hospital run by German atheist nuns, where they find solace and healing. The Gladney family performs a dance that is reminiscent of one from a music video as they shop at an ANP supermarket in the final scene of the film. A summary of the movie The White Noise Men was provided. Enjoy your day and never forget to like, share, and follow.